when referencing a worksheet using its name in Excel VBA, the following statement is typically used, with the name specifically referenced in the worksheets collection. In this workbook, you can see I've got two worksheets, summary and financials, and if I was to run this code, then it will happily write the value of 50 to sell B4 of the financial sheet. But if somebody was to rename this sheet, then when I run the code, I will receive the subscript out of range error as that sheet no longer exists. A better way is to open the properties window if it is not already open, select the sheet in question, and use the code name. You will see that a sheet has two names. One of them is the code name, and the other one is the name that we see displayed on the sheet tab. In the properties window, the code name is the one enclosed in the brackets, and we can change that to what we want, and then edit the code appropriately, so that we have a more concise way of referencing that sheet name, but also it was more robust against possible changes within the UI of Excel. If I change the value to 100 and run this code, we can see that it is working. And if I edit the sheet name again and look to run this code, it continues to work. So when referencing a worksheet specifically in Excel VBA, the code name is your secret VBA trick for more concise and robust macros. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to receive the latest videos at this channel. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.